hey girlfriend so it's been a minute um my two week hurrah i'm gonna take a little break because i did so well my work trip turned into like a four month like anxiety slump and i've only been active on tiktok and pinterest i touch on a lot of things in this video and i hope that you can relate in some form or fashion and that we get through this together if you're new here my name's kobe you can call me coves if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for sticking with me because i know it's been a while okay it's been a while. Um, this is gonna be like a chit chat, get ready with me, kind of catch up situation. This is my one, this week is my one year of living in Dallas. And so I'm gonna be doing my makeup. Nothing's really changed, um, but we will be talking majority of the time. Well, all of the, all the video, um, all of the makeup products that I am using will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friend to tell their friend to tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends, okay? And if you want to see how I got this look and all of the things that I've got going on, because clearly it's a lot, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we haven't done this in a long, long time ago today. It's been a minute since I've sat here and done my makeup. We're not in my closet. We're in my um, bedroom. So let's catch up. Honestly, I don't even know where to start and I'm kind of like my chest kind of hurts sitting here thinking about like where I would start I took a break on posting and filming for like two weeks because I really wanted to enjoy having a lot of success on my work trip that I had to go on I had it I had a lot of success and we'll talk about that I didn't realize that once I was done with the break that I would kind of I don't want to say it was a depression because I don't feel that feel like that's what it was I feel like it was giving like seasonal a lot of anxiety so let's backtrack I went to San Diego for a work trip and it was really really good I got a bonus um, about a month and a half later I got a promotion and so now I am the social media director at my firm and we we're just gonna take a moment to applaud me because this is the first time this position has ever been at my firm and I am the first black person to also ever hold this position. So, and I'm a woman. So we're making a lot of history around here, but with a lot of history comes a lot of pressure. And I guess I was just so excited and proud of myself at the progress that I had made that I forgot about the pressure that also comes with it, which is why I've taken such a backseat to YouTube. Since we got all that caught up, I have been sh extremely active on TikTok. I like swore off TikTok during the beginning of the pandemic and now I'm like all about it. It's one of my favorite platforms to be on. I'm on it more than I'm on um, Instagram. I also have re found my love again for Pinterest. So those are my main two platforms are Pinterest and TikTok mainly. TikTok. I have the most followers on any of my social media accounts on TikTok. I have like 28.7 thousand, something like that, on TikTok. And so I will put um, all of the handles and stuff. They're kind of all the same or a variation of the same on the screen somewhere. So where have I been? I've been in my house. <laughs> I, I go out some, but not a lot. I am in this like weird time in my life where work-life balance is like non-existent to me like I really cannot seem to figure it out like as soon as I feel like I got like a handle on it something else happens and it's like nope you thought wrong you're gonna go back into shambles and not knowing like how to function and all of that which is really what has happened and transpired since March which is kind of when all of, I feel like my life fell from under me was around March. I want to be more active. I've gotten so, and like I've gotten so many followers on YouTube from the three months that I haven't posted, three, four months that I haven't posted from TikTok and from Instagram. And so I started seeing comments like, hey, come back, like we miss you. And that's when I was like, okay, me and my like not even 500 followers like 
I'm doing something right in this space and I think for a long time um, at the beginning of this year I was so in the end of last year I was so focused on this promotion at my job and like really proving myself and doing really well and I was able to do that never really thought about what was going to come after that because <laughs> that's the predicament that I'm in right now but also I was just so focused on doing that and doing very well that nothing else was going to nothing else was going to stand in my way of that and I feel like I, I conquered that I feel like I did what I set out to do but other things fell by the wayside in the process which is something that I know for myself is something that happens a lot for me like when I put a lot of focus on one thing other things fall by the wayside and so I put a lot of focus on work and now that my job is solely social media my own social media fell back and I can sit on TikTok for hours and as soon as I find someone's video that's like here's a day in my life or here's what I spend in a day or like just and it's really just like young women that are around my age that have not figured I don't want to say figured life out I don't want to put all that pressure on them but they have they have control of their life in the moment and that is what I wish and that is what I want for myself I really enjoy creating content I really love making TikTok videos I love making YouTube videos the hardest part about making YouTube videos is the editing like for one I don't have enough room on my laptop to edit and to still do all of the other work which is why I have 900 devices because it's so hard for me to do everything on one right and I'm so nitpicky I'm so detail oriented a lot of people have told me that I'm a perfectionist and that also is has a slight form of my anxiety that has to do with that and like I don't finish something until it's like perfect which has hindered me in a lot of ways at work because I take a very long time to do my work because I want it to be great right it's my name that's on it and so I'm not gonna put out videos on my platforms that I don't see that are good value for a long time I like fought this whole niche situation because I kept seeing the girls on TikTok saying you're not going to grow on social media if you don't have a niche and you don't have like an audience and I have a huge audience but I don't have a niche and then I realized that my niche is being who I am like I'm the niche <laughs> like there is no one else that is like me and once I realized that one my content started doing so much better because I personally started putting forth better effort because I was like I am the niche like people come to my platforms to see how I make all of this work in my life granted majority of the times it does not work okay that is it is not working <laughs> everything is a work in progress but that's what people come for they come to see the progress they come to see how I Kobe have figured it out right and I'm not saying that I have all of the answers because I don't because I can't seem to figure out my own life much less how can I tell you how to figure out yours I have a community of women especially a community of black women that are and especially a community of women in general that used to be athletes that are no longer athletes and now we're trying to navigate the world without that instant gratification that we used to have with performing well in our sport but I feel like I have I have a place and I just need to have the confidence in myself that I do have that place and that other people care about that place as well because they're like hey where are you where have you been please come back <laughs> so that's why I wanted to sit down and um, make this video because I am I am I'm making a promise to myself I'm making a promise to my community that I am going to be better and I am going to carve out the time and I am going to who cares if editing is hard like I'm going to make it happen because when I was in college one thing I was known for they call me the energizer bunny and I was also known for working and like maintain like literally living my life off of being extremely busy and I think that part of the reason now that I'm having such a hard time is because I'm only 
busy with one entity. Not that I'm not busy, because I'm, I'm extremely busy all the time, but I'm only busy with one entity. Like I'm only busy with work. When I was in college, I was busy with school. I was busy with my day job. I was busy with ladybirds. I was busy at one point with filming. And then I was busy with coaching. And so I had multiple jobs. I was doing multiple things. And then like sometimes like throw in being a babysitter, playing with the kids. And then if I was there late at night, I would sleep. <laughs> I would sleep. That's what I would do. And so my anxiety has like really taken a huge toll on my life. It has taken pretty much over my life the last four ish months and up until this week i've been able to handle it and this week i realized that like my anxiety is like very debilitating and like it is hindering everything that i've got going on right and so i haven't really had a routine lately because i've just been so much in shambles that like i just haven't followed like a real routine and so i realized that is also something that's missing in my life having a routine, having something that I do every single day that's a constant. Um, there's this girl, she's not a girl, she's a woman. She's also slightly older than me, so she's definitely a woman. But um, she, she, I tell, like, I tell my mom this all the time. I don't have very many idols, but this woman, and she's not famous or anything like that. She is truly my idol. She's from Nashville, and she goes through some of the same struggles that I go through with my anxiety and work confidence and imposter syndrome and all of those things and she used to write a blog and um one of her blog posts she talked about her five non-negotiables that she did every single day no matter what day it was and that really stuck with me like having non-negotiables like really was a thing for me for a while especially while I was living at home with my parents Having those non-negotiables helped me get through my everyday. Like that was my routine when I didn't really know what my routine was. It was those non-negotiables. And so that is something that I have to get back to. I have to get back to my non-negotiables. And they're going to start off very, very small. Like they're not going to be like these astronomical tasks that I want to do for myself or that I think that I can get done. It's, it's not going to be that at all like I'm not a make your bed person that's just like not me so I made it today for the sake of this video <laughs> normally I'm not a make your bed person um, unless I have a lot of work to do that day and I need to make sure that I don't get back in the bed other than that what is what is going on like we're getting into raccoon territory very quickly but so yeah don't I'm not really a make your bed person but I am a take your vitamins person and I have slumped on that as well and so that is one of my non-negotiables that I have to have also washing my face I absolutely have to wash my face first thing in the morning that's the, what wakes me up and so and now that it's like literally I mean literally hell is not this hot as it is in Texas right now hell I promise you they got air down there hell because they don't we don't have it here and I know that I'm a take a shower at night type of girl. Well, <laughs> the way we're set up right now, I have also become a take a shower as soon as you wake up type of girl because it is so disgustingly hot here. I had to fix the audio and the sun's starting to go down so I have to hurry up. So I hope the audio didn't sound different. But yeah, so those are my non-negotiables and I've just gotta get back to them. Like, you know when people say, oh, I'm just going through like a quarter life crisis. I feel like I'm going through a quarter life crisis like I'm trying to find myself as an adult found myself pretty late as a teenager but I think I'm trying I'm at the point where I'm trying to find myself as an adult I know I don't have to have all the answers for everything I know that and being someone that works in a solutions based type of industry you start to form that that solutions based mindset for yourself as well and so I try to find all the answers for all my problems and that isn't always the best route to take and so i know i don't have to have all the answers but feeling lost and feeling like i've lost myself in the midst of trying to reach my goals 
isn't working for me like that's this is at this point in my life I see the problem very clear especially after this week I can see the problem very clear and now I have to fix it it's not going to be something that's going to be fixed overnight it is something that I'm going to have to work towards but I'm willing to do that work and I'm willing I'm willing to be better um and that just means like being a better overall friend because one thing I'm really good at when I can't when I'm going through things and I can't figure out my issues and I can't figure out figure out how to make things better and work for myself I retreat into like my shell because I'm a straight up cancer I tr retreat into my shell and I neglect my friends and I stop going out and I stop wanting to be social like all of the things that a sociable person wants to do I stop doing those things like those are my ways of like hey look I'm not good, doing good and no I'm not crying for help in any way shape or form like if I'm hurting I'm gonna say like I've got a lot going on like I'm gonna verbalize those things but at the same time it's also hard asking for help you know what I mean and asking for help in a way that you feel like you're not burdening anyone else because that's also something that is very important to me I never want to feel like I'm being a burden to anyone whether it's like my parents my friends and I have these conversations with my friends often I, they have reassured me time and time again that they're not I'm not a burden to them but these are just like smaller things that like I have to come to terms with for myself like I have to I have to come to that realization myself that I'm obviously not a burden to them you know that's where I've been so on a lighter note on a much much lighter note I'm going to see my family very soon um we're having our annual family reunion because we are that black family that has a family reunion every single year and so I'm going to go see my family soon um my niece is turning one and so I'm super excited about that and get to celebrate with them and I get to see my sister and yeah just excited about all of that my mom was here a few weeks ago helping me i've just got a lot of things i just look like i really punched myself in the face like what is that so side note i haven't really been an eyeshadow girl since i've been out of college but recently i've been doing the eyeshadow and it looks really really dark i literally went out on wednesday for an event and it looks really dark right now but I did the exact same eye look on Wednesday and it looked fine so I'm very confused and I can say one thing that has absolutely helped is that I know I'm not the only one that's going through this um like we're whatever crisis we're having right now um I have other people in my life that are also going through it other people in my life are just better at communicating it and um better at navigating it than I am and so that is the major difference but I think seeing my family, and I'm gonna be around my entire family, so not just my immediate family, being around my entire family will um, will help me get out of this slump. I am still working out. Um, I work out about four to five times a week. I actually just got back from the gym. Um, I went earlier today. Um, I don't wanna call the gym one of my non-negotiables because like all last week I didn't go at all. And so like, I don't wanna call that one of my non-negotiables cause that puts a lot of pressure on me. Um, and I can't handle that. Does anyone else have like something on their face in their makeup routine that if they do it on one side of their face, it's perfect. But if you do it on the other side of your face, it looks like this, like I'm confused, but we're gonna fix it. There we go. I've never really been great at articulating, like sharing my emotions, but I've learned that recently I'm not very good at articulating my emotions either. And what's funny is that when I say that, I like literally mean like not good at choosing the right emotion to exp or like choosing the right word to express the emotion that I'm feeling. One night I was on the phone and I, I my knee gave out and normally like when your knee gives out or if like you're someone that your knee normally gives out you normally don't say ow like that's not because it doesn't hurt it just takes you by surprise so you don't say ow you i don't even know what you would say but like you just don't say ow and so my knee gives out and 
the first thing that I thought of was to say, ow. And my knee gave out and I was like, oh, ow. And the person I was talking to, I was on the phone with, they were like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I just, my knee gave out and it didn't hurt. Like I said, just caught me up surprise, caught me by surprise. And the emotion that I decided to emote was, ow. Oh, I forgot all about these lashes. So I'm, I'm, I'm working on it and I'm trying to get better. All I can say is that I'm a work in progress. I'm not perfect. I don't want to be perfect. Um, I am truly trying to work on who I am as an adult, who I want to see myself as, as an adult, um, and my work-life balance. Like I really can't do much more than that at this point and when I say work-life balance I mean like my work as a social media director and my work as a content creator because I want to continue to do both of them and so like it's not even a nine to five five to nine type situation because there's sometimes where I'm in the middle of my work day and I'm like oh I need to make a TikTok video of like what I'm doing because a lot of my content is based around the fact that I'm a working girl that still that sounded not the best it is surrounded by the fact that I do work a full-time job um, in a corporate setting and I work from home and like just how to balance it all because working from home as everyone's looking and scrambling for jobs um, right now in whatever this inflation recession whatever we're going through working from home is not glamorous like it's not more glamorous than going into an office especially for someone who like me thrived off of that routine of getting up and going to the office every single day like that was a I had to do that you know what I mean so the fact that I roll out of bed and go to my desk like that sometimes throws me off Okay, so the sun has gone down, so we've got to, to wrap this up. This is the final look. I'm not doing anything for the rest of the day. I'm just going to clean up. Um, I should be packing, but that's another story for another day. Um, like I said, you can always find me on TikTok and Pinterest. Those are my main platforms, but I'm going to continue to work hard and work through my anxiety to make YouTube also my main priority because I want you guys to also enjoy the content that I make here as well. So... You already know the drill and if you're new here this is how we close out every single video don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell your friend to tell their friend to tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends okay because it is pretty damn cool around here okay and we have some anxiety filled girls in the girlfriends okay but we're gonna be okay we're gonna get through this together we're each other's tribe we're each other's um community and you guys are going to help me be better just like I know that I've helped some of you to overcome and combat some things and be better for yourselves and that's all I got don't forget to follow me on Instagram Twitter TikTok and Pinterest <laughs> they'll be linked down below as always and I'll see you on my next one peace